Give people a chance to earn your trust, but take heed of the following 15 types of people to avoid at all costs. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Aluxers, you might find yourself having a hard time trusting anybody. You've been let down before and you vowed you wouldn't do it to yourself again, but you did. And now you're letting the past hold you back from trusting those that will honor your truth. Number 1. People who like to tell stories about other people we spoke about these kinds of people in our video, 15 Principles for an Excellent Work Ethic, where we mentioned don't be the office gossip, don't listen to the office gossip, and don't encourage the office gossip. Gossips are not to be trusted. The reason is simple. If they're speaking smack about someone else, they'll go and do the same about you. And what does it say about you if you're listening to and encouraging this kind of toxic behavior? The only kind of speaking about other people you should be doing is saying great things about them. Number 2. Those who belittle their ex Aluxers, the funny thing about this type of person is that they often think they're doing good with their new partner by belittling and badmouthing their ex. But it does the exact opposite. Again, what will happen if or when you break up or things get a little awry? Will that person then go badmouth you to their new partner or group of friends? That's pretty shitty. On the other hand, a person you can trust is one that doesn't say awful things about their ex, one that keeps their past private and doesn't share all the details with you. Respect your ex and your new partner enough to do the same. This will put your new relationship off to a great start. Number 3. People who flirt too much and are too touchy-feely have you ever been around someone who's just a little too flirty and a little too affectionate? Doesn't that person make you feel hella uncomfortable? Like you just want to cover up and keep far away. Your instinct is bang on, and if you're in a monogamous relationship with someone, you'll quickly know the difference between an innocent smile to the waitress and thanks for the service, or thanks for the service, I bet you make a lot of tips, followed by a wink. So, look out for prolonged eye contact, dialogue with a sexual undercurrent, overly touchy-feely body language, and personal questions that make you feel anxious. This person is trouble, and in the famous words of Taylor Swift, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Number 4. Those that only speak about themselves Egocentric people are plain hard work. They switch the conversation to revolve around them and change plans to suit their own interests. Surely you know by now the world revolves around them. <coughs> Narcissist. <coughs> Number 5. People whose story is always bigger than yours. They are sicker than you. They have a car that broke down worse than yours. They have a worse mother-in-law or their kid is saying the alphabet at one month while yours is still gurgling away. Their stories are all around simply better than yours. So it's not likely they're the most trustworthy people in the world. Because truthfully, you could tell them any secret or story and they wouldn't even remember it to retell it. Why? Because they're so busy thinking of their bigger and better story to tell so they're not even really listening to you. Number 6. Those that fell in love too quickly Aluxers, they're not bad people, but you also don't want to get hurt yourself, and someone who is perpetually falling in love is really unsure about who they are and what they need. And sadly, often people who fall in love quickly also like the drama. They set themselves up for failure and then it's all tears and why doesn't anyone love me sort of vibe. And that in itself is just exhausting. If you're in a new relationship and the person is telling you that they love you from like the second date and you filled a void in their life and they were lost until they found you. Tread very carefully. These people often go full-blown cray-cray if you break it off, even if it's only been a week. Number 7. Pathological Liars Sometimes we meet a good Samaritan who will warn us about someone being a pathological liar, and we don't believe them for whatever reason. We think they're jealous, a bitch, speaking crap, and so on. You usually only believe they're like this after you've been lied to a few times too many. So, how do you recognize a pathological liar? Well, it's quite easy. They're either the hero, the one who saved the day, or they're the victim. Oh, poor me, bad things always happen to me. Their stories are bigger than what they truly are. Think of a four-year-old telling you about the size of fish they caught. Same thing. 
Where it gets confusing is they literally believe the lies they tell. So when they're telling you the story, they believe it too because they are so convincing. You might even start to doubt yourself if you happen to be at the site of the same story. Number 8. People who are too nice Aluxers, even the word nice is so meh. It should be banned from the English vocab, but here we are. We all know that one person who is nice all the time, and the problem with this type of behavior is they're not being honest, are they? Sometimes shitty things happen, and you want to shake the nice person and say, show some emotion. And Aluxers, there's a huge difference between being nice and being kind. Being kind often means telling someone something they don't want to hear, but you have to tell them to help them improve themselves. And we've all been on the receiving end of kind words that kinda stung, but it's important to remember, it takes courage to say those things. Number 9. School Friends Who Suddenly Want to Meet Up Ping! You hear a Facebook message notification and guess what? It's Natasha. You think you went to high school with her but can't really recall because you weren't really friends. Hmm, strange, she wants to meet for coffee. Now why would that be? Here are a few possibilities. She wants to rope you into some kind of MLM or pyramid scheme. She wants to sell you something. She wants an introduction to someone you know. She thinks you can give her a boost up on the social ladder. Uh, we think we covered the basics, Aluxers, eh, but we'd love to hear your ad to the out of the blue random meetup in the comments. Number 10. People who can't apologize. Have you ever received these half-assed attempts at an apology? I'm sorry you feel that way, or I'm sorry you're angry, or I'm sorry if I offended you. You damn well did offend me and I'd like a proper apology. These people will never take responsibility for their mistakes and will make you feel bad for reacting the way you did, shifting the blame from themselves onto you. And Aluxers, have you ever stopped to think if your boundaries have been violated? See how you do with our next point before deciding. Number 11. People who violate your boundaries So how do you know that your boundaries have been violated? You have to justify that person's behavior to friends and family. For example, your wife speaks to you in such a rude, condescending manner and you tell your friends, she only speaks to me like that when she's stressed. No, not okay. If you take all the blame when things go wrong, no, also not okay. You feel guilt. Do any of these situations ring a bell? Learn to say no. It isn't easy, but you need to start looking after yourself. Number 12. Cheaters It sounds so obvious, doesn't it? Don't trust someone who has cheated on you. But it goes much deeper than that. We are not just referring to a person who is cheating on his or her relationship. We are also speaking about your friend whom you know to be a cheater. Why are you hanging out with that girl or guy? Does that person make you proud to call them your friend? Do their values align with yours? Why do you place your trust in a person that is purposefully hurting someone else? What about someone who is cheating on their taxes? Or someone who accepts their change from the cashier even though she's overpaid, knowing they'll have to pay that in themselves or even just Google Googled answers during a pub quiz. Cheaters always look for an easy out, a quick fix, and sore losers are bad winners. Aluxers just walk away. Number 13. Passive aggressive or competitive. Life isn't a race to see who can get to the finish line first. It's going at your own pace and finding peace, fulfillment, joy, and love. If you know someone who's constantly competing with you, it's not healthy. You're both on your own journey, and it's best to break the ties on that one. Now let's look at passive-aggressive people. You know them because they're the ones that will either sulk, be moody, give backhanded compliments, withdraw, or not partake in conversation. They'll say things like, I wish I could own a nice car like yours, <sighs> but I guess that's never going to happen. Uh, what just happened there? They've taken the attention away from you and your nice car and made it about themselves. Or the very best. I don't mean to offend you, but... So Aluxers, we don't mean to offend you, but let's move on to our next point. Number 14. Those that are easily offended and have no sense of humor. Also known as who not to invite to your dinner kind of people. Exactly. Now we're not saying don't be professional, but if you're taking yourself too seriously, then that's a problem. Often people who are super serious or a bit on the dull side see life in black and white. There's no gray scale, which means that new ideas, fresh viewpoints, and alternative ways of living might not always bode well with these kind of people. 
Also, people who don't poke fun at themselves are often insecure and afraid to show their true colors. And honestly, don't get us started on easily offended. It's not always about you, Karen. Now we've saved the best, I mean, the worst for last. Number 15. People who are mean to animals. It takes a special kind of low life to be mean to animals, and these people are not to be trusted. People who get dogs and treat them like shit, beat them when they pee in the house, or leave them outside in the cold without protection are not worthy of trust. Sadly, this cycle is repetitive. You can get the animal taken away and rehomed, but within a week or two, there's another defenseless dog sitting behind the fence, chained up with nowhere to go. Aluxers, speak up for those who can't speak for themselves. And remember what Mahatma Gandhi once said, the greatness of a nation can be judged by the way its animals are treated. So Aluxers, what kind of person do you find to be untrustworthy? Share your thoughts with us in the comments, we love hearing from you. Now Aluxers, since you stuck with us until the end, we have a bonus type of person to add to the list, and this one is to be avoided at all costs. You go to a restaurant and you're sitting with the loveliest person, well, at least you thought they were the loveliest person, until you heard how they spoke to the waiter. They treated the waiter as if they were a piece of shit stuck under their shoe, and after several of these exchanges, would just go back to being that lovely person you thought you were having dinner with. This is a huge red flag, so look out for it, and by doing so, save yourself a lot of drama in your future. A big shout out to you for all the likes and thumbs up, and remember to like and subscribe for more daily videos. Trust us, they'll be there.